guys, welcome back to Cake Journal. It's me, Sydney. Today we're gonna to be doing a fun video, including wine in it. Um, we have a special guest actually today. Come on in, Derek. Ta-da. <laughs> Ta-da. This is the host of With My Wine here on YouTube. He does a bunch of fun wine videos. He talks about white, red, boxed, any type of wine, you know, the good stuff. Do you have anything to say about the channel? Um. I think you pretty much covered it well. We do the wine tastings and then generally do wine pairings, so I'm excited to be here. Yeah, so today we're actually going to be making red wine brownies and white wine ice cream. And then on his channel, he's going to actually review the wines that we used in the recipe, and he's also going to pair them together. And in his video, he'll show him tasting it and whatnot, because I am not 21 and I cannot consume it, but I can definitely make it. All right, so we're first going to preheat the oven to 350, but we magically already did that, so ta-da! Next, you're going to want to grease your 9x9 or whatever size square pan you have. Do you want to do the honors? Oh, please. Here's the baking pan. With gusto. I'll stand back. So we're first going to make the brownie part and then we're going to add the wine and then Derek will talk a little bit about what wine we're using and how much you want to put in the recipe. So let's first start off with the dry ingredients. So we can put in our one cup of sugar and then we could put our half cup, sorry it's not in order, I'm really sorry, I'm the worst. This is a half cup of vegetable oil, so we're gonna put that in there. Got two eggs to add into this also. You can each do one, because this is my favorite part. Oh, good thing it didn't fall in there. And now, I'm so excited, I forgot to mention, I'm using my KitchenAid for the first time in this video. I'm obsessed with this thing. You should definitely go check it out. Um, I'll actually leave a link in the description of the actual one I have if you wanted to see what um, the price and whatnot if you wanted to check it out and buy it. So yeah, anyways. Um, I'm actually gonna put this on like at like a speed of two or four, whatever you want. Do you wanna add the um, vanilla? Yep. And that is one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Hold on. All right, we can also add the half cup of flour. Yup. Okay. And then we got one third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. Get in there. That's the good stuff right there. Yeah. We're just gonna let that stir for a little bit. It does the work for you. The last thing we want to add is one fourth uh, teaspoon of salt and also one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Thank you, Derek. Mm -hmm. All right, so we mixed our mixture and before we add the chocolate chips and wine, Derek's going to talk a little bit about what wine we're using and why. So I'm not going to go into too much detail with it since we're going to do the review of it on With My Wine, but we chose this one. It is a red blend from Portugal. Uh, it's supposed to have good notes of plum and other kind of you know, dark fruits, uh, not too acidic, so it should be a good balance in with the chocolate. Right, and we're adding chocolate chips too, so maybe that'll help it even out. Um, and since you do bake the brownies, you can eat them if you are under 21. Not so much for the ice cream since the ice cream isn't baked through, but since you're baking the alcohol out, you can consume it if you're under 21. So yep. I get to eat these brownies. Which is all I cared about, so yeah. So, now let's add the wine. So we're doing a fourth of a cup, so not enough to really feel like you've wasted any of your wine. And we'll just mix that on medium speed for a little bit. Okay. And we'll scrape the sides just to get all the excess flour combined to when we're done. So, I think now's a good time to add the chocolate chips in. So we're gonna do that. And I'm using one cup of chocolate chips. Now are those dark chocolate chips, this milk was chocolate? Jerry Deli dark chocolate, which okay. is the good, this is the good kind you wanna get. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. So you want, I'll pour, you scrape? Yeah, you can pour. Yeah, sounds good. So, yep, just to, like take it off like that. We'll put this here for safety. Okay, so we're gonna pour this in there now. 
So we're gonna stick it in the oven for approximately 20 to 25 minutes or so. Um, so let's just do that right now. You do the honors, Derek. Oh, thank you. So now, while the brownies are baking, we're gonna get started into the white wine ice cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? Apparently one of our cameramen doesn't like ice cream, but he doesn't count. Get out of here. Bye. Thanks. Okay. There we go. So, and he's gone. All right. <laughs> Peace out. So what do we need to do first? So we're gonna start with the white wine. Because uh, that's what the recipe calls for. Right. A half of a cup. Uh, so this Chenin Blanc is from South Africa, and we picked it because it's supposed to have a tropical fruit salad flavor. Uh, so that should go really well in a vanilla ice cream. For some reason, that sound is really satisfying. Just the glug 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 glug. glug, glug. Yeah. Now we're gonna add one eighth uh, teaspoon of salt. That in there. And this is vanilla. And this is uh, yep. This is one f one half teaspoon of vanilla. Actually, there we go. You want to do the honors this time? Oh. So you put it on, uh -huh. and then oh, you actually do. first click it in place, uh, so and then you could put it on. I would say four. Actually, two. That's doing well. Yummy. So we're gonna let that stir for a little bit. Okay. And then we're actually gonna whip the heavy whipping cream when, and when this is done. Okay. So just like watch that. So, okay. So we've got here two cups of heavy whipping cream. So we're just gonna whip this until it's stiff. I'm actually gonna transfer uh, bowls because it's, it's too small of a bowl. And I actually, put in one tablespoon of white sugar, just so um, it's a little bit more sweet because I noticed that there was no sugar in the recipe, so I wanted to make sure that there was gonna be a little bit more sweetness to it. So this is like semi done. We just have a couple more minutes of beating of the heavy whipping cream. That's not dripping anywhere. Nope. There we go. And you could do the test. This is the test, ready? Here we go. Uh, 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 that freaked you out, didn't it? That is unnerving. So all we have to do now is kind of fold that into this mixture. So you want this on the lowest speed because you don't want it to get too whipped. Um, and yeah, so what we can do is scoop that in there. Okay, ready? Yep, actually, actually we're gonna put it on, put it in first, a few, and then we're gonna start folding it in. Okay. So we can do a couple more scoops. So the other nice thing about us having, you know, put only a half a cup right. of wine into this is that we're looking to pair the brownie with the ice cream later. So if there's too much wine in either one of these, they won't pair very well. Yeah, we're basically making a giant brownie ice cream sundae, so, of wine. so stay tuned for the end of this video. And maybe not I'll hold it while you do the honors. Uh, Actually, nice. let's scrape the sides first to make sure it's all in there. Do you want to try a little bit? That'll do. So we'll pour that in there. Mm -hmm. Scrape that. So now we're just gonna stick this in the freezer for about six hours. All right, so we made our sundaes and I'm so excited. Wow. I actually have a non-alcoholic ice cream. I have vanilla bean ice cream. Unfortunately, I cannot eat the white wine one. Yeah. I get to have the whole thing. A oh, lucky you. I know. All right, so let's just <laughs> dive right in and taste it. All right, so we get a little bit of the whipped cream. Oh a little yeah, a little cream, bit of the brownie. Of brownie. Wish I got that ice cream, but. Wow, mm -hmm. that's really good. I, it is so good. I can taste a little bit of the wine, just that flavor in the brownie. Yeah, I got a little bit of the white, um, the red wine in the brownie, and it's not too much. It's not too overpowering. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't, yeah, 
but you still get the taste of it if you look for it. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. Definitely go check out With My Wine. I'll leave a little clicky thing right here. So subscribe to our channel down below. Also follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, you know, the whole spiel. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and happy baking.